original Asherella here, and this is Onion Tea. This is going to be a very short episode because it is storming really bad in my area right now, and half the county is without power. I currently have power, but internet is down, so I am filming, editing, and posting all from mobile, so it's going to be a little bit shorter and not as uh, edited as a usual video. I just wanted to make this video to say... Shiloh is my hero. Oh my gosh. Anybody who watched Hanson's stream last night knows what I'm talking about. What a class act. Oh my gosh. On with Onision, aka Onion Man. You know that Hanson has been doing weekly streams with different people involved in the situation. Shiloh had previously appeared, and then after she did, shortly thereafter, she actually kind of went blackout on social media, and, you know, she finally, like, came back out from, uh, you know, hiding on social media, so to speak, and, you know, she talked about that in the stream last night. She said that she was receiving a lot of hate, which, you know, obviously, you know, Onion Man still has his little minions, like, I mean, they attack this channel. I'm sure they're attacking Shiloh and people with a much bigger reach, but it doesn't change the like them attacking us that does not change what onion man and kai have done and i just don't eventually they'll realize i get for a few weeks and now she is coming out the gate swinging and i was so impressed with her uh she is definitely you know taking like a leadership position with the girls and because i mean she's to, she's a little bit older than most of them and um you know, she is just, she is gung-ho for this right now. I think in some of Onision's recent rant excuse videos, I think he tried to say that Shiloh was, like, not talking anymore and that she was basically, like, withdrawing her statements or withdrawing her stance on the situation. It's like, oh, no, Mr. Onion, you're super wrong. Um, Shiloh is here and she is, you know, louder than ever. And I am so stoked to hear that. Um, Hanson was a little salty on the stream last night. Undoubtedly, you know, everybody watched Onion's crazy rant videos. But as classy of a dude and as professional of a journalist as Hanson is, you can tell that, like, he really, 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 really is taking this personally, especially after the person... I, I, I mean, I'm speculating here. I don't know this for sure. But, you know, the personal attacks that he... that Onion Man made toward Hanson, <laughs> I think that, uh, you know, you, you, could, you could see it in Hanson's behavior last night, which, you know, go for it. Um... I also thought it was really interesting that Hanson discussed that he had gotten emails from people who have never had any, like, direct communication or relationship with Onion and Kai, but how their behavior online normalized unhealthy relationships that they ended up in, like, and, you know, I, that's something I really never even thought about, and... Like, that is terrifying. Like, you know, these people have victimized more people than we even realize at this point. Um, directly and indirectly. Um, I really liked that Shiloh, you know, she called Kai out last night. And I don't think that Shiloh had really addressed anything specifically about Kai um, in her first interview. But I know that she's been co in contact with all the other girls who were drawn into the situation by Kai. And I love that Shiloh was like, I can tell you one thing I would never have done. I would have never brought young girls into this situation. And, you know, she, she straight up called Kai a predator also. And I was like, yes, I think that too often people, I think people are too sympathetic to Kai. Um, there is a part of me that thinks... Kai might have more behind the scenes pull than we even know. Like, you know, <sighs> oh, uh, tragic. Tra Shiloh is amazing. I think it is amazing of her to, you know, try to be like a backbone for these girls, try to be like their rock in the situation. And it's super obvious that that's what she's doing. But, like, Shiloh, she's beautiful, talented. If you've seen her new, um, newest video, like, her voice is amazing. It's crazy. Like, 
she, how, like I said, I've said this before, but how Onion ever got her interested in him, I'll never know. Oh, yeah, it's because she was a young, impressionable teenager. But anyway, um, <laughs> uh, I'm not, this video, like I said, it's going to be shorter than most. Um, I'm not going to probably have the ability to clip in segments of hands and stream from last night. Maybe I'll make a longer edit once my uh, technology and everything is back up. But... That's all for today. Let me know what you thought about Hanson's stream last night. What are your thoughts on Shiloh right now? I think she is amazing. <laughs> uh, does anybody know who Hanson's guest is going to be next week? I know he had mentioned having somebody that was an expert in, like, cults and the people who try to form them and run them. So I'm very eager to see what that person says. But anyway... That's it for this episode of Onion Tea. I hope you're having a great day. If you are in an area where there is a bad weather and storm in, please stay, be safe, stay safe. Don't go out unless you have to. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and find me on my socials. That's it for today, guys. Always tap in, never tap out, and keep on onion slaying like a saying.